welcome guys on today's video i'll be teaching you on how to solve for the marginal rate of technical substitution and our emphasis will be based on the cobb douglas production function so now our mrts our mrts is equal to the to the marginal product of labor over the marginal product of capital so now to get the amount cs from our cobb douglas production function we have to solve for the marginal product of labor and the marginal product of capital so to solve for the marginal product of labor which is the partial derivative of q partial derivative of l so we differentiate l and we keep k constant when we do that we have alpha a l alpha minus one k raised to power beta that is our so from there we can split up we can split up this L raised to the power alpha minus 1. So we can have alpha A L alpha L minus 1 K raised to the power beta. So we can go further by saying equal to alpha A L raised to the power beta K raised to the power raised to power alpha k raised to power beta then we have l minus one and of course you know from our law of indices that l minus one is equal to one over l so we can have alpha a l raised to power alpha a l raised to power alpha k raised to power beta 1 over l so we can say equal to alpha a l raised to power alpha k raised to power beta over l so since our since our a l raised to power alpha k raised to power beta is q here we can easily slot it in and say alpha q l so our marginal product of labor is this so we can solve for marginal product of capital and we solve for marginal product of capital we can say marginal product of capital equal to partial derivative of q decay equal to so from our cobb douglas production function we can say beta a l alpha k beta minus one so in the same way from what we did here we can say beta a l alpha k beta k minus one then we, of course we know our k minus 1 would be equal to 1 over k so we can easily say that will be equal to beta a l alpha k beta 1 over k and that will be equal to beta a l alpha k beta over k so we can continue we can continue by saying our beta will be q over k will be q over k so now we've successfully found the marginal product of labor and marginal product of capital so we can go further by looking for our marginal rate of technical substitution so since we know our marginal rate of technical substitution is equal to the marginal product of labor which is over marginal product of capital so we can say the mrts 
So marginal product of labor from our Cobb Douglas production function is this. So we can say alpha Q L over beta Q K. We can go further by saying alpha Q L over beta Q K. So we can also go further by saying alpha Q over L times K beta Q. So this one cancels out. So we are left with alpha K beta L. So the marginal rate of technical substitution using our Cobb Douglas production function is this so now we can go further by solving a, an example that looks like this so now let's solve the numerical example of what we did the other time so now given our Cobb Douglas production function as this we have our Cobb Douglas production function as this so we have to find the marginal product of labor, then we find the marginal product of capital. So to find the marginal product of labor, we say the MPL equal to. So when we differentiate L here, we have. So this 0 0.25 will be multiplied by 0 0.5 and that will give us 0 0.125 l then 0 0.25 minus 1 k 0 0.75 we kept k constants by differentiating this so now we can go further by saying 0 0.125 l 0 0.25 minus 1 0 0.25 minus 1 will be minus 0 0.75 minus 0 0.75 and that will be k 0 0.75 this is our marginal product of labor so we want to find the marginal product of capital so the marginal product of capital will be so we differentiate k now in this so we have the q the k this time around so we can say so 0 0.75 times 0 0.5 will be 0 0.375 l 0 0.5 0 0.25 k then we have 0 0.75 minus 1 so we can go further by saying 0 0.73 0 0.375 L 0 0.25 then K 0 0.75 minus 1 0 0.75 minus 1 that's 0 minus 0 0.25 so we have our MPK so to find the marginal rate of technical substitution now so we can say 0 0.125 l raised to power minus 0 0.75 k raised to power minus k raised to power 0 0.75 then we have 0 0.375 l raised to power 0 0.25 k minus 0 0.25 now what to do here now we can cross them out so from our law of indices we understand that when we have l so we want to deal with this now let's deal with this first we have we have l super zero when we have l super minus 0 0.75 over l 0 0.25 so we can easily say l 
minus 0 0.75 then divided by l is about 25 then we can say we can go further by saying that since we have this then in indices we can go further by saying l 0. L raised to power minus 0 0.75 minus 0 0.25. So minus 0 0.75 minus 0 0.25, that will be L raised to power minus 1. And 0 0.125 divided by 0 0.375, that is 0 0.33. Then in the same way we can do the same for k2 when we do the same for k we can say k raised to power 0 0.75 k raised to power minus 0 0.25 then we say k 0 0.75 divided by k raised to power minus 0 0.25 and that will be k Minus power minus raised to power 0 0.75 minus 0 0.25 and that will be k raised to power 1 so our k is raised to power 1 so now we can go further by saying 0 0.33 a raised to power minus 1 will give us 1 over l k anything raised k raised to power 1 is k then we can say 0 0.3 3 over l k so this is our marginal rate of technical substitution for this particular question so thank you so much for watching so if you got so much value you can smash the like button and also subscribe to this channel for more content like this so thank you and bye for now